Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a registration form with Elementor. I am going to show you two ways, one with the default Elementor form widget along with the PHP function, and the second way is by using an add-on. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Whichever way you choose, the first thing that you will need to do is to enable user registration in your WordPress website. So let's go to Settings, General, and here you need to make sure that this box is checked. Anyone can register, and the default registration role will be a subscriber. Scroll all the way to the bottom and save the changes. Let's start with the first way by showing you the default form widget. So edit with element or the page that you would like to add the registration form to, just like so. And here we'll drag the form widget into your desired section. Now, because this registration form is coming with a PHP function, uh, the PHP function contains variables and everything must be exactly executed as I show you in this video. You have all the information in the written blog post as well. The first thing that we need to do is to change the form name to user registration form. It's case sensitive again, guys. You can either type it yourself or just copy it from here and then paste it inside the form name in Elementor over here. Now the registration form must contain specific fields such as email, password and username and also optional fields such as last name or first name. So let's create the form right now. I'm going to delete the message field because we don't need a message. If I would like to keep the name, I just need to change it to first name with capital F and capital N. The placeholder text doesn't really matter, but just to keep it consistent, I will make it first name. I can make this field required if I want, but I don't have to at all. It depends on you. Same goes with the last name option. You don't have to have this field. If you do want to have it, just make sure it's a last name with capital L and capital N inside the label. The placeholder can be whatever you want. And again, you don't have to make it required if you don't want to. Now let's create a username field. The label must be called username with a capital U and no spaces. And this field must be required. Now we have two more fields to create the email and the password. And I created a table for you that will show you exactly what kind of field type it should be, what the label should be, and of course, if it's required or not. So you can just check this table in the written blog post. You have the link in the description down below, and that will help you to remember what kind of field to uh, create. And the last field will be the password field. So I'm going to create a new field. I'm going to set it up to be password. The label going to be password with capital P with no spaces. And of course, this field is required as well. So our form is pretty much done, ready. We can see what it looks like on the right. We have all the fields that uh, we wanted to have. Some of them are required and some of them are not. We can enable this option to see which one are required. Just like so. Again, the first one, the first name and the last name are not required and you can definitely delete them if you don't want to have them in your form. Now all you have left to do is just to update and save the changes and we can move forward to the next step, which is to paste the PHP function and make sure everything is working as it should. So to do that, let's go back to our dashboard. Here we will go to Appearance and then Team Editor, where we look for the functions.php file from the right sidebar. We'll click on it. We'll scroll all the way to the bottom. And here we are going to paste our PHP function. We can find it in our written blog post. Just copy it from here. Paste it all the way here at the bottom and click on Update File. Great job. Now let's make sure everything is working as it should. We will navigate to our website from a logged out browser or from an incognito window into the register page of our website. We will fill the form and submit it. The PHP function that we are using is supposed to grab the data, the information, register us as a new user, and then redirect us to the homepage as logged in user. So let's do that and make sure it's working. We can see that we've been redirected to the homepage. So this part is working good. 
let's go back to the back end of our website into the users tab and we can see the new user uh, here inside the users page so the user was registered successfully and the form and the function is working perfectly fine now if you would like to redirect the user to a different page and not to the home page we can do that as well go back to the rating blog post copy this small function over here and all we need to do is just to replace the get home URL with the new text that we just copied and here instead of the page ID goes here we will actually going to put in the ID of the page that we would like to redirect to and that will redirect us to the right page I'm going to leave you a link down below that will show you how to find the right ID of your desired page. Now, if you would like to create the form without any functions, you can do it by using a plugin. Okay, so let's do that. We'll go to the back end into plugins and add new. Here we will search for essential add-ons, uh, the plugin called essential add-ons for Elementor. You can see it over here. Just click on install and activate. After you activated the plugin, let's go back to the page click on edit with Elementor and here we can scroll all the way to the bottom left side we can see a new section called essential add-ons with many more widgets below it everything that is tagged with EA is free and everything that is tagged with Alark is part of the pro version luckily our registration form is part of the free version so let's drag it to our desired location the default form is a login form and we will need to change it to registration form here under the default form type we'll choose registration right now it's very minimal form with only username email and password so you can expand the register form fields and add more fields such as first name last name repeat password etc for now it's enough so I don't need another field, I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to expand another tab called register form options. They have some cool options over there as well. Right now it's going to send an email to the new subscriber. You can also create another action to auto login the user after submitting the form or redirect him to another page. So if you choose a different option such as redirect, you can see the option just below it and you can enter the desired URL where the new user will be redirected to. Of course, you have more cool options over there. You can also style the button, change the text of the button, etc. You can do whatever you want with it, just like a default Elementor widget. The most important thing is just to update the changes and test the form, making sure it's working good. So I'm just going to fill the form really quick. Username John Doe, email John Doe at example dot and just a basic one two three four five password click on register the form was submitted successfully and the page refreshed now I can exit this page go back to my users page and make sure the new user was registered successfully And I can see the new user over here as a subscriber and everything working perfectly fine, guys.